around 1.7 million known species. Some researchers estimate that there could be as many as 30 million species total. That's the equivalent of everyone in the state of Texas being a completely different organism. Each of those 30 million species lives in a special place called an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community of plants, animals, and all living things interacting with their environment. You might think of a polar ecosystem, a kelp forest ecosystem, or a wetland ecosystem. But there is an ecosystem right outside your door. A healthy ecosystem is one where all living things are in balance. Each ecosystem has plants and animals that have evolved to live in an area. These are called native species. Native species have spent so long in the ecosystem that they have adapted to that area. Each native species has a role in the ecosystem. Sometimes it is a top predator, like the round stingray. Sometimes it is a sand-sifting ghost shrimp, or a microbe that is a master of decomposition. Every species has a natural range, a place where it can live, and is commonly found. Oftentimes the range is limited by natural physical barriers that huh? stop an organism from moving to a new location. For example, a fish can't cross land, and a bison can't swim across the ocean, and a sea otter doesn't fly. Too tiring. Over time, one species has managed to figure out how to get past natural barriers. That is Homo sapien, a.k.a. people. We are one of the most successful species at getting around on the planet. People invented boats to get across the water that was too wide to swim across. Then the car to travel the land. And finally, the airplane to travel the world. And as people keep moving around, we do one thing time and again. We bring a piece of home with us wherever we go. And we like to collect living things from far off places. Sometimes during our travels, we bring live organisms with us without even knowing it. That means many species have crossed natural barriers. And these organisms are introduced to a new ecosystem where they are non-native. A non-native species is an organism that is accidentally or deliberately introduced to an area where it could not spread on its own naturally. That is, tides, currents, wind, or wings. There are three things that might happen when a non-native organism comes into a new ecosystem. It might die immediately. It might live for a while and reproduce in the new ecosystem, or it may become invasive. An invasive species is an organism that establishes and spreads in a new area and threatens that ecosystem, habitat, and any native species. Why should we care? Well, imagine if you open your door one morning to go out to play, and there is no variety. Only one type of tree, only one type of bird, only one type of house, and only one thing to eat. This is what can happen when an invasive species shows up. Invasive species take over and reduce biodiversity. So when a species invades, it destroys an environment's habitat, and the diversity of life in the area is lost. The invasive species becomes the only thing living in the ecosystem. What can you do? One, if you are planting a garden, talk to the nursery about planting native species. Native plants are better for the environment. Introduced plants might spread from your yard and become invasive. Two, 
If you have an aquarium, or a pet you can no longer keep, then don't set anything free. There are lots of plants and animals in the world that escaped or were released, and it is a real challenge to get rid of them all. The best thing to do is to find a new home for your pets. Talk to a pet store owner, or give your fish to a friend, or talk to an aquarium hobbyist. And if you have an aquarium, make sure you don't dump the water down a storm drain. Pour it in your garden and watch the garden grow. Three, and last of all, when you travel someplace new, make sure you don't have any hitchhikers coming home with you. Some plants and animals might hitch a ride on your clothes, and you might have an invasive species on your hands. Take care of our ecosystem by helping to keep invasive species out.